Good morning. Really quickly today, we're going to talk about how you can save yourself some library late fees. So one of my rules is the kids only can check out a certain amount of books. So I only take Ellie to the library now. My other kids are older and she has a limit of 10 books. But if I had several kids, I would probably make the limit number be a little bit smaller because finding 20 books is going to be easier than finding 40 books. And my second rule is they cannot go in the bedrooms. So the library books have to stay in the living room, um, get a little basket or have a little reading couch that you keep them on or something um, and that way they are always visible you know that they're not lost somewhere or mixed up with your own books um, she has a little library in her room and that would be hard to be going through all the books every time and always make sure that you get your slip printed um, I don't know exactly what it's called but I always keep mine on my fridge so even though I've kept the books in the living room I've limited her numbers I also have a list that every time we're going to go back to the library I can check each one um, as we find it and she helps me count them and put them in the bag. Um, I always bring a recyclable bag, really easy, take it empty, fill it up, bring it back, um, start again. We love the library and I think reading is very important so that was just my quick tip today, a couple of ideas on how to make sure your library books get back to the library on time properly. Have a great day.